Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you the third way to make an animation. This is the high render, high resolution, the highest quality option. Um, by now, make sure um, you follow option two and at least get to this step. Um, what we did is we imported a motion and then we went ahead and created a motion, like animated the garment basically, so the garment can walk with the avatar. So you wanna make sure you're at least here and you can move this around and the dress is gonna go with your avatar and you're good to go. Okay, cool. So what you're gonna do for the high quality render is you're gonna go up to the menu and look for render and you're gonna choose render. Awesome. With the render, I'm gonna click once in this window. It doesn't really matter if your floor is showing. It doesn't matter if your internal lines are showing. The render, it just knows not to include any of that stuff. It knows you are all business. You want this to look good and you're not messing around. So that's kind of cool about render. Okay, um, probably the most important thing is to go ahead and set up right here. See this? The image video properties. Click that guy. Okay, so it defaults under image video. It defaults to image, because normally you just do a high quality image. But today, we need to choose animation. And this will work because we created our animation already from that motion, we dropped it. Um, okay, region. We can do entire region. If you wanna break it up and like shoot from different angles or zoom in, kinda like what I played around with in the um, second option video I did, you can do that um, by using the play region. It's, um, it's fine, it's not that hard, it's a little bit of extra work. I'm gonna just post the video where Claude demonstrates how to do that in Canvas. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, you can watch that video. But for everybody else, just leave it on to entire region and you're fine. Save video. I'm gonna say, let's turn that on. We want to save a video of this guy. What it's gonna do, it's gonna save every single frame it takes. So you're gonna have like 180 high quality images. And then it's gonna take those images and make a video for you. Um, it's kind of neat to have all those images once you do use that third party software, you might want to turn those in. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, just make sure save video is on. Um, frames per second, 30 is pretty standard. Again, in Canvas, I'm posting a video that kind of talks about options here, but I recommend just leaving it. Unless your computer is like, ooh, I don't know, maybe I should only do 15 because it's a little slower. You could do 15 too. Image size, you can decide all of that. Is this for YouTube? Like what's the default for YouTube? Is it for Instagram? Like what are the best frame measurements? So you can type all that in depending on where you see yourself posting this later. Um, what else is important? Background. Okay, right now the background's white. I love clear. Are they gonna let me do none? Let's see here. They Okay, good, I just did none. So I had to click and drag that thing all the way to the top left corner. Now it's none, which is good. I need to get rid of this texture, I think. Yeah, I got rid of the texture because I like a clear background. So when I open it in a video editing software, I can add my own background, which is kind of cool. And if I end up saving, you know, a video of my entire collection um, in the video editing software, I can have the girls come and walk at the same time, you know, so I don't have to wait for one to start, finish, start, finish. Like you can have the girl, number one, go, and then when she's at the end of the runway and starting to come back, you can have number two kind of go. So you can run both videos at the same time if you have the clear background. So I recommend doing that. Okay, um, what do you guys want to name it? So right now it's called Sloper. Let's change it to Floral Dress. I'm just gonna call it High Res. Um, file Path, mine's on my desktop. So again, remember where you guys save this. This is the, probably the number one problem of all students is they do all this work and then they're like, it's gone, it didn't work. But they just didn't know where they saved it. So don't let that be you. Image format, it has to be PNG because I chose transparency. My video format for me, MOV on the Mac is working good, but you might prefer MP4, especially if you're on a PC. So I'll let you decide that one. Um, it has the save HTML, so um, I think this is for a video that you wanna post online, maybe do that as well. I don't know, I've never really done that before. Should I get crazy and check it and see what happens? Okay, that's basically it. 
Um, and then you have all your other choices as well. You can play with your lighting. You can play with your camera properties, um, as well as the render properties, like what kind of high resolution do you want? Again, if you're on a computer a little older, not as fast, you know, maybe you change some of this. Wow, my, no my noise is really low because I don't like when it's pixelated, so it's probably gonna take this a long time. Um, oh, and you have your max time. I put 15 minutes. Maybe if you're like, no, I really want good quality. Whatever, you can make it more, I don't know. I think it might be render per image though, that 15 minutes. I don't think it's the whole video, by the way. Um, anyways, there's all, all kinds of stuff that we've kind of talked about when it comes to just rendering a photo. Um, but that's basically it, okay. Uh, and once you're done, let's see here, I can hit this little interactive render, click one time. Let's see here, and it should, there it goes. And then I can click stop. And then I should be able to click final render. So again, I don't really like how it's so big. I actually should go change it. Let me see here. I think I'm gonna, da, 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 my, it's portrait. I'm gonna change the orientation to landscape. And I will go ahead and update the scene by clicking this little interactive render button. There we are. Uh, maybe I will zoom in. <laughs> Still kind of funny. Um, hmm. Might be okay. And then you know what? I'm gonna grab this toggle down here at the bottom because I kind of want to see where she's gonna end up. So I'm gonna bring it down over here. Ah, my screen. It's there. It goes. I want to see how far she goes. So I'm bringing it towards the end. Come on, little buddy. There it goes. Um, and then I'm gonna hit the uh, update scene button again, interactive render. So I wanna see if she'll still be in my frame when I do that. Okay, click. Oh, let me go hit click stop. Oh my gosh, my computer's already like, this is gonna be hard. I can feel it getting slower. There she goes. Okay, so it fits. It's kind of weird how tall she is. So if I wanted to change, you know, this to be not as tall. Again, I usually have measurements of what I'm making this for. Um, this might be default for something else. Oh, you know what? It, she actually might get cut off. I'm gonna bring this up higher because I'm worried when she walks in the middle, she might get cut off. So let's double check that. Okay, I'm gonna click stop. Yeah, I think she's getting cut off. Okay, I'll hit that again. It's good to fix all this before we do the high render because it's gonna take forever. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, see how she's kind of getting cut off because she walks towards you? So there we go. Maybe we want it, maybe something. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit and not worry about her getting cut off later. I don't know, she might get cut off, right, when she goes back. This is okay. Maybe, you know what, hmm. And then, oopsies, command Z. Um, okay, let's try this. And then what I wanna do is now bring it back to the very front. Let's get that little slider guy. There he goes. And I'm gonna click stop. <laughs> My computer's like, uh. And now I'll click that guy to see what that looks like. Are you in the frame? She is in the frame. Okay, good. And then is she gonna be in the frame at the end? It's probably worth spending the 30 seconds right now to go check instead of hitting play and finding out tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm gonna say stop. And reset it again see where it is. Okay. Okay, cool. There we are. Yeah, this is good. Um, okay. I, I don't think it matters if I put the slider back or not, but I'm just going to put it back at the very beginning for fun. <laughs> and then I think all I have to do is hit play. Oh, maybe not. I'll say stop render and I'm going to reset it one last time.
I might have been able to just hit play, but I'm just being safe. Okay, so I'll click stop. All right, this is it. Part of me does want to do this a little. Such a troublemaker. Um, I just moved the camera down a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to hit play. I could stop and view it, but I'm just going to go with my gut. I think it'll be fine. Okay, here we go. I'm going to click play. Guys, make sure your computer stays on. Maybe your screen will like turn off automatically after five minutes or 10 minutes. I recommend making sure your computer doesn't go to sleep. Um, so figure out in your system settings how to keep it from going to sleep. And um, you can just like call it a night, like go to bed, <laughs> wake up in the morning and see what happens. This is gonna take a while. Um, done this before, sometimes it'll take an hour, two hours. Other times it's taken like eight hours. So it just kind of depends on what your settings are, depends on what your computer's like. Um, but yeah, that's really it. So um, I'm basically done. <laughs> and um, I already have the file name saved. So when it's done, I'll just go to my desktop and look for it. And I'll show you guys what that looks like tomorrow morning. Yeah, sounds good. But I'll speed up the video for you. All right, that's it. Let me know if you guys have questions.